Okay, today we're putting an ABS disable switch on the CB500X. So I'll, I'll tell you how it works first and then I'll show you how I did it. So how it works on this bike is um, if, if the ABS sensor becomes unhooked or if it can't read all these little holes, it will throw a fault code and shut the ABS off. Uh, I'll link it down in the description but I have a video showing how to unhook it underneath the seat. You disconnect the rear ABS sensor and it throws a fault code. Uh, not real handy if you want to do it without taking the seat off. So today I'm going to show you how to put a switch in, but there is a zero cost method using a plug under the seat. So if the ABS is not sending the correct amount of counts, all those little holes, if it's not counting those correctly, throws a fault code, shuts the ABS off completely. You can't turn off just rear ABS because a lot of off-road people like just turning the rear off. doesn't work that way on this bike. So if I turn the bike on, ABS lights right here. If it's solid, it means, yes, the bike can see both ABS sensors. If I press this button once, it's going to open the circuit for the ABS front sensor. So it's blinking because it's, it's saying something is wrong with one of the sensors. ABS is disabled. It will not work. So if I turn my bike off and back on, it's still flashing because it's still wrong. So this is an on-off switch. Um, I have to press it again. That closes the circuit. Turn the bike off back on. ABS light is solid. It knows it has both sensors. Um, so if this works the same as a toggle switch, on off toggle switch, mine's just a push button on off switch. I did this because if I turn ABS off and I turn the bike off and back on, I personally want it to stay off. That is not the safest way to do it. That is for people that know what they're doing and pay attention to their machines and their riding conditions. Um, if you wanted a safer way to do it, if you got a momentary contact, a normally closed momentary contact, normally it's closed, you're going down the road, you push the button, it opens the circuit, ABS faults out, you let go of the button, it closes. So then if you turn your bike off and back on, it automatically resets your ABS. So I told you about my video for under the seat method, how the switch actually works. Now I'll show you how I did it. Um, the, the front is easier to do because, you know, dashboard's closer to it. But the ABS sensor is right here. It's held in with this single bolt. It goes behind this tab on your forks where the brake caliper mounts. And then it follows the brake line up to right here. So... And, and I, I did get a second ABS sensor. This is a new one that I got, a factory replacement part. So I've got the, the OEM factory installed original on the shelf, just in case I ever need to go back for any reason. But this wire normally goes behind this tube. I just routed it over top because it was easier once I had it spliced. This plug right here, focus. This is the plug that you need. Um, right here. So that is your front ABS sensor plug. That's behind the right side plastic. To take that off, there's one bolt. Side cover comes off, pops out of a couple grommets, and it's got a hook around here. Front plastic, I think it's this grommet. Um, Velcro. One bolt, two bolts, three bolts, four bolts, and then there's tabs here and here that it snaps into. There's a hook that goes under here. And then the tricky part to get this front plastic off, right here, there's a plastic push pin that holds it together. And how those come apart, um, you press the center down inside of this, and then you just pull it out. So that's how you get to the plug. Um, that's how I routed it. That's how it works. Um, so inside that that cable to your sensor there are two wires there's a blue wire and a white wire it doesn't matter which one you cut cut one of them run one side to the switch and the other side of the switch back down to the sensor 
Uh, make sure you're doing it on the ABS sensor wire and not on the wiring loom side. Wiring looms totally suck to repair. Do yourself a favor and cut into the whatever the $20 part instead of the several hundred dollar wiring harness that requires complete disassembly of the bike to replace. But I'll, I'll show you the circuit on paper once I'm inside. Some people are visual learners. That's fine. But uh, this 3D print is available online. Check the description down there. But uh, yeah, that's the push button version. And like I said, Rally Raid has a more professional finished product with plugs one plugs into the harness side one plugs into the sensor side and it's a rocker switch i think like this they might have a momentary push button now but rally raid has it if you're not comfortable cutting up wires so here's how the circuit works you've got your abs sensor down here two wires to the plug and then it goes off into the wiring loom like i said you just split that one wire run it to your switch normally closed to have normal ABS operation. Push down the switch, open the circuit, throws an error code. There you go.